Hello there, I just wanted to show people how to update Fallout London with Mod Organizer 2. If you have the game installed with Mod Organizer 2, it is actually super easy to update it um, whenever the Fallout London team decides to drop updates. So if you go to the Fallout London page and you check to make sure that you're on the newest patch, um, you can always verify and repair. You can check for updates. Right here I have the update button, so I'm gonna go ahead and click to update. And it'll always make sure, especially if you go here and, and click a check for updates, it'll always make sure to download the latest version. So you see applying patches now, right? Now, let's say you already had this installed on your mod organizer to loadout and you just wanted to update to the latest version it's actually super easy to do so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to manage installation and go to show folder click that and here it's going to open to where it downloaded the latest version of fallout london and it should be completely up to date what you want to do is you want to open up your mod organizer 2 and what you want to do is you want to click this little tool button here and you want to go to paths and you want to pay close attention to where your base directory is yours might be different than mine based on how you set up your mod organizer 2 but you can see mine here is in the vin mods and games mod tools mo2 storage slash fo4 that's where you will find my mod organizer 2 storage and this is where mod organizer 2 stores my downloads mods caches profiles and overwrites folder right so what you want to do is you actually want to go to this mods folder because what you're what you'll see in that mods folder is you'll literally see all your mods right and so I have my original installation of Fallout London saved as Fallout London data that's what I decided to name it so I'm gonna go ahead and go into that file. So I went directly to where the base directory is, right here, uh, Vin Mods and Games, Mod Tools, MO2 Storage, FO4, going to the Mods folder, this is where I'm going. Remember, this might be different for you. Make sure you check your Mod Organizer 2, make sure you check your paths and check your base check your base directory make sure you know exactly where all of this is right so when you go to this folder you should see downloads mods caches profiles overwrite you should see it exactly like this right it's gonna it might be in a different place for you so you're gonna go into mods right now these are your actual installed mods and what you're gonna look for is whatever you called fallout london so i called it fallout london data look for however you installed it double click this and you're gonna see everything here from the Fallout London mod. Now, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna to go to Fallout London data right here. And this is what was downloaded. This is the update that was downloaded from GOG. Remember to just double check, manage installation, show folder, and that'll take you to the download, click the data, this is everything you need here. So what you wanna do is select everything, bring it over to, to your Fallout London data, and you wanna drag every single file into your MO2 storage, into the mod folder, and have it overwrite all of these files. You, I'm not gonna do it right now because I already did it and I kinda of don't wanna do it again but you're just gonna have it overwrite every single one of these files. And then for extra good measure, I actually recommend, because I, if I recall correctly, I do believe that they chain, they made some changes to their any settings. I also recommend that you go back into the GOG download of Fallout London and go to the config folder and open up the Fallout 4 any and the Fallout 4 prefs any and copy those into your any editor in your London profile. So Fallout 4 any, replace replace all of these settings, delete all of these and replace it with the Fallout 4 any 
here and same thing with the prefs folder and you're gonna want to replace those and click save every single time and if everything is done correctly and you copied everything over it actually should work already and it should update and the way to know that it updates is when you log in and load a save you will see a little notification that says version updated I'll show you guys what that looks like Now this, when you load a save, you should see this message, Fallout London updated to V1.01. And if you see this message, then that means it worked and you're up, you have officially updated Fallout London. So they did a bunch of bug fixes and a variety of other little additions. And that's the way to update Fallout London. It's actually pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Every time they drop an update, you pretty much just gotta do that same process. You just copy over the London, the data from the GOG download and have it overwrite your mod folder inside of your mod organizer to storage file. It's pretty easy. Um, if I helped you out in any way, please like and share it, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about anything, any ideas of things you want me to cover. I love talking about modding games, so yeah, I might do this a little bit more.